in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this problem so you don't get it wrong. And I will start by using a method called keep change flip. And so six divided by four divided by four divided by six equals, we're gonna use that method to start. So first copy six divided by four in a fraction form, six over four. Next, we wanna change that division line to multiplication like that. And then lastly, we wanna flip four divided by six. So it'll be written like this, six over four. And then we just multiply across. Six times six is 36. Four times four is 16. So we got 36 over 16. Now we need to simplify this using the greatest common factor. And that's by listing all the factors for 36 and 16. So we're gonna make two lists one for each number. And then we wanna look for the factors that appear in both lists. And then the larger or the largest number appearing in both lists is the greatest common factor. And then we use that greatest common factor um, and we divide the 36 um, by the greatest common factor and the 16 by the greatest common factor. And that'll get, give us our answer. Now let's go ahead and start with this list. And if you forgot what factors are, like factors are the numbers you multiply together to get another number, which we call that the product. So two times two equals four factors one, factors two, those two factors are multiplied, gives you a product, which is four. There we go. All right. So one times 36 equals 36. And one times 16 equals 16. So those are the first couple of factors. So I'll write one. And this list needs to be all whole numbers, positively whole numbers. And 36. And you're thinking, I am going to list 1 through 36. That is, that is not happening. And I'm going to show you an, an easier way, a faster way to do this. OK. Now, I'm going to go ahead and extend this second list here. Right, right there, 16. All right, so I look at these two numbers and I tell myself, okay, 16 is smaller than 36, so let me go ahead and start with 16, the smaller, the smaller number. And I'm gonna list one through 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And the reason why I stop at 10 is because I'm trying to find which whole number or factor or whole number, they just say whole number, will fit evenly into 16. One can and 10 cannot, 11 cannot, 12 cannot, 13, 14, 15 cannot. 16 can, 16 can fit into 16 evenly, 16, all right? And um, we, we're gonna scratch out the ones that do not fit, fit evenly into 16. So 10, I'll just scratch that one out or scratch it off. Nine, can nine fit into 16 evenly? Well, nine times what can give me 16? Nine times two is 18. I mean, yeah, 18. Nine times three is 27. 
And so nine times one is nine. So there's no way to, to get in between these two numbers here. There's no way. There's no number that will give us 16. So nine will not work. I'll go ahead and erase this. There. Let's look at eight. Can eight fit into the 16 evenly? All right, let's see. Eight times two. Eight times two is 16. Eight times three. Uh, eight times three is 24, right? And there's, yeah, there you go. And then eight times one is eight. So 16 is there. That means that eight fit evenly into 16 because eight times two is 16. Eight plus eight, 16. Cool. So I'll leave that number alone. Let's look at seven. Seven, seven times two is 14. Seven times three is 21. Seven times one is seven. So there's no way we can get a, a number between 14 and 21. So we are trying to get 16, I see 14 and 21, so it's not gonna work. So seven does not fit evenly into 16. All right, next number, six. Can six fit evenly into 16? All right, let's see, six times two is 12, six times three, so we got 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Hey, we, we can't get 16 because it's, it, it is between 12 and 18, so six does not work either. So we'll scratch that one off too. Erase all that. And now five, I mean, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, it skipped 16, so five would not work either. Now looking at four, four times four is 16. Four times four is 16. So that one will work. What about three? Three times what gave us 16? So we got three times three is nine, right? Three times four is 12, three times five is 15, and it's skipping that 16, it's three times six, so 18, and we can't get 16, so it's in between 15 and 18, so it will not fit evenly, so we, we can scratch that one off. Now two can fit into 16, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So that's eight times two is 16. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So that one does work. And then one of course fit evenly into 16. So and I'm gonna use a different color. I'm gonna use the color green. Those are one, two, four, eight, and 16. Perfect. I'm gonna erase all this. Uh, let's go ahead and tackle 36. Rewrite this here nicely. Actually, no, I'll just say this is the list. These are the factors of 16, one, two, four, eight, and 16. All right. Now, 16, let's, let's see, 16, 16 times two, so 12, two, three, 32, 16 times three, 
We got 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 34, 48. We can get 36 in between 32 and 48. So 16 will not work. So we can scratch that one off. All right. But we don't have a 36 code, so we cannot. Um, 36 does not fit evenly. Well, we stop at 16 anyways, so we can just ignore 36. Um, let's look at 8. Does 8 um, fit evenly to 36? Let's see. Remember, we had we should be having whole numbers 1 through 36, but we're not doing that. We're looking at what, what can we um, match or see which appears in both lists. And so we need to focus on these numbers. So 8, 8 times what can give us um, 36. So we know that 8 times um, 8 times let's see 8 times 5 is 40 8 times 4 what's 8 times 4 so we have 8 16, 16, oops, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 16, we got 12, 1, 2, 3, 32, 32, oops, 4 times 8, or 8 times 4 is 32, and we can get, oh, we, hold on, there might be something, nope. Because 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, we're off by 2. So it's not going to work. 8 is not going to work. Because between 40 and 32, it's 36, and we can't get, we can't get 36 with 8. So we can knock this one out, 8. And then eight times eight times three. Um, if I write it here, eight times um, eight times two is sixteen. So we can just forget about that. Um, eight times three is twenty-four. Oops. So we can just forget about that. Now, looking at four, if if we if we can uh, have four fit into thirty six evenly, then that would be our greatest common factor. Because if not, then we're looking at two, and that's gonna be the greatest common factor. Because one is too low. All right. Let's see if. 4 fit even into 36. So right now, um, 4 times what can give us um, 36? Um, I know 4 times 9 is 36. There we go. So factor 4 fit evenly, or this whole number fit even into 36 because. 4 times 9 is 36. And there we go. So our greatest common factor is going to be 4. They appear in both lists. So go ahead and erase all this and write 36 divided by 4 on both sides at the top and the bottom. 16 divided by 4. All right, and I'll use a different color here. So 36 divided by four, I know four times nine is 36. So let's 
going to be 9 on top. On the bottom, 16 divided by 4. I know 4 times 4 is 16. And that is 4. So the answer is 9 over 4. And there you go.